fantastic uh, few days for us and for all of our exhibitors and hopefully for you guys as well. Yep. Uh, and the, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. In fact, we have another guest on the stage with us right now, James. From uh, Enlighten, Enlight Photo? Enlight Photo, Enlight that's the photo. one. Yeah, how, how you doing? are you, James? Good. Very good, very good. And how has the show been treating you? We've, it's been good for us. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Really cool. I mean, like, it's, it's, a, it's difficult because I'm here showing off all my gear and stuff, so there's that whole thing that it's real hard to actually find the time to get out and look around at stuff. But, you know, I've been to quite a few of these now. It's day three. I've just been wandering around a little bit, and there's just so much cool gear everywhere. It makes um, you basically want to go broke, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 <laughs> totally. Totally. And, and I mean, I really like the way that there's also other stuff going on. Like I know I, I saw over on the Nikon stand, there's this cool, like they've got dancers going on. They've got, there's obviously some new action cameras and stuff. I've got some new gear. It's like, it's just everywhere. Yeah, really cool. And, and great people as well. I love coming to New York every year. Where do you hail from? Uh, I'm from everywhere. So I've, I've, I'm from New Zealand. Um, I'm also British. I've just moved from New Zealand back to, to the UK. I grew up in the spent few years growing up in the States as well. So I'm kind of a little bit. I'm a bit of a bit of a bit of a mongrel. I come from everywhere. Kind You're of an thing. international man of mystery. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> so show us what's in this box. Tell so us. So what all about is in it. this box? I should have actually opened it before I got here. So so this is IO shutter for SLR. Um, there's, there's a lot to tell about it. It's very cool. Basically, it connects your two favorite things, connects your iPhone and your SLR camera. And it means that you can kind of set your SLR free, as we say. You can do a lot more with your camera thanks to the IO shutter system. It's basically, it's a really advanced shutter control system. So what it means that you can do is, of course, several things. You can get really, really pin sharp, long exposures for cool landscape photos, that kind of thing. One of the things a lot of people forget is one of the great ways when you're doing portrait photography or group photography is with IO shutter running on an iPhone, you can get out from behind your camera and you can actually be talking directly to the people you're photographing. Completely changes the way that people relate to you. You get completely different photos. And then you get into all sorts of the cool stuff. So there are loads of extra functions. Like so, for example, you can have the people you're photographing setting the camera off with sound by shouting, clapping, laughing, that kind of thing. Really? If you're into time lapse, you know, there's a time lapse controller, so you can obviously set intervals, you can set how long the time lapse runs for, as well as the kind of, it's got a timer function, right? Now, we always think of timers as countdown. Wait, before you keep going, Yeah. I just realized, I'm not sure we explained adequately, physically, what it does oh, and how okay. it connects. So let's back up for a second, then we'll get back to some of the features. Yeah. This is a cable. It's a, yep. And the cable has a little controller built into it. It has a little sort. bit of little bit of technical wizardry in there. A little yep. intelligence. And you plug one end into your SLR camera, you know, be it Canon, Nikon, Samsung, Pentax, works with the Hasselblad H series as well. Um, just pop one of the little tabs on the side and then, then open ah. it up there. And then we um, plug the other end into what? The other end you plug into your iPhone, your iPod Touch, or your iPad. And, uh, and then you open, you download the IO Shutter app. There are actually a couple of them. There's a free one, there's an upgrade. Look at him here. I'm like, caref he, he, he'll get carefully into it. open the yeah, little tab. He's like, ah. Got to get into it. There we go. So now, just to s state the obvious, yeah. when you, you've, got a, you've got a Nikon over yeah, here. And I've got the if D. If we look at, normally, if we wanted to take a picture or a video or anything, we're going to use the screen on the back of that. And it's going to be like a little, let's say, three-inch screen. Well, but so I could use my iPad, so it's and I a, get a big screen, right? Well, no, no, no. So it's a shutter release, shutter controller. Okay. So what normally happens is, like, for any one of a range of the types of photos that you might want to do, of course, you're, you're, you're stuck with using your camera to, to shoot, right? So what IO Shutter does is it puts your shutter button in the palm of your hand. Okay. Now, there are lots of reasons you'd want to do that. One of them is if you, you, know, you lock your camera down on a tripod, if you're shooting at more than like a 15th or a 30th of a second, like to get some real nice, you know, swirls in the clouds or like these beautiful light trails in the city or even the sort of long star trail photos, even touching the shutter button on when it's on the tripod, you're going to get sort of Shakes. a bit of camera shake, right? And so with IO shutter, you're getting rid of all of that because the shutter button's in the palm of your hand. You don't need to touch the camera. The other thing, as I said, is, is if you're taking photos of groups of people or portraits and stuff, you lock your camera down, well, what are we doing? We're normally kind of behind the camera and you're kind of, yep, yeah, that's nice, and, and you're going back. But when people can't see you, they can't relate to you, right? And when people can't relate to you, they're getting a little bit uptight, a little bit tense. With IO shutter, I normally run it on just my iPhone. You, you've got it running, the shutter button in the palm of your hand, camera on the tripod, you can come out from behind the camera, you can talk directly to the people you're photographing, you can make sure they're standing in the right place, you can get them laughing more easily, you get them way more relaxed. 
Those are just the two simple ways that you want to use right. IO shutter before you get into all the timer, time lapse, sound, clap to snap, shake to take, that kind of thing. Now also, I mean, if I'm standing off to the side and I'm trying to get everybody, you know, animated so we can take a picture, mm. and I realize that I've got the ISO wrong or the exposure yep. wrong, can I make those changes? No, 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 it's a shutter it's, controller. We're just, so we're gonna, so, of course so you're, I need you're, to, I'm going to, I'm going to line it up. Yep. I'm going to, Get it set up. Yeah. Maybe snap a little sample to say, okay, it's Absolutely. all good. Now I'm gonna go over here and dance like a monkey till they're all smiling. Absolutely. And the bang, I got it. Yeah, yeah. And in fact, so it's got a sound trigger as well. So one of the things that people often do is you can either leave it single single sort of exposure. If you set it's got a bulb setting. So bulb setting in IO shutter is really there so you can program your shutter to open for like 10, 15 minutes to get those amazing like night sky photos, that kind of thing, or the seashore and stuff, and really blur it out. Um, but of course, if you just use the, set the bulb setting, say, for one second, leave your camera on motor drive, you're going to get four or five frames every time you fire it with, with IO shutter. You hop into the sound trigger, you set the sound trigger, and then you say to the people that you're photographing, you know what, guys, you set the camera off. I want you to set the camera off. I want to hear you shout, laugh, jump up and down, say clap, cheese, say whatever. cheese, that kind of thing. And again, you know, transforms the way that people come across on, on the photos because you're involving them in it. You're having fun. It works real well when you're shooting kids. Well, that makes sense because have you ever noticed, Jared, when, you, when you're trying to take a picture of a person, when you tell them you're going to take it, for a second they're they get really... Changed. But they're really ready, and then if you take too long, you can see the... Yeah, they, they lose the it. difference, right? They they're can't like, hold it, it very long. Yeah. Or I kind of, kind of call it the photo face as well. When you're like, hey, relax, you know, we're here, we're having fun, we're going to take... Whenever someone, most of the time, most people aren't used to being in front, most of us, are, we're not used to being in front of the camera. You know, particularly photographers, right? We're hard to photograph. But, um, but one of the cool things is, the more you can do to make people relax, because even when they think they're relaxed, you're always a little bit tense. When you come out from behind the camera, that all changes. Makes sense. Okay, when are they available? How much are they? What all cameras can we support with them? Okay, good question. So they just hit shelves in all really good camera stores this week for Nikon. Canon, again, available in all great camera stores. They're coming to a range of other stores over the next few months, so keep an eye on our website, nlightphotopro.com, because we're going to be announcing, you know, it's going to be basically be available everywhere, which is really exciting. Um, and the cables are, depending on where you are, they're $69.95 in the US, they're $59.95 in the UK and EU or Euros, um, and, uh, and available over there as well. A lot of the online, great online retailers are, are carrying them too. And yeah, they're on sale now. So they work with all of the Canon SLRs. They work with the Canon Advanced Compacts, the G10, 11, 12, G1X, Samsung and Pentax SLRs. They work with the Hasselblad H series and all of the Nikon SLRs as well. And the app is free? There are two apps. There's a free app on the App Store. And, uh, and then if you want to upgrade, you can. You can go to a pro app, which just gives way more customization programmability. And... What's really cool is this IO shutter that we're looking at and talking about here, of course, controls your SLR. What we've also done this week, which I'm really pleased about, is we just launched IO shutter cam, which is on the App Store as of this week. This week only, it's $1.99. And what that does is it gives you time lapse in your iPhone with your iPhone camera. So you can shoot with your iPhone, and then the iPhone just pulls it all into a movie, and you can share it online, you can tweet it, you can send an email, you can save it to your photo stream as well. So yeah, all sorts of things going on. Cool. And um, uh, one, one of the questions we had was, uh, and I just want to make sure I had this correct, mm. um, it does have an intervalometer Absolutely. setting. Is that yeah. in the basic app, or do you have to get the upgraded nope. one to do the... So the basic app has a few different time-lapse programs, and if okay. you want to get really advanced and start programming your custom intervals and durations and stuff, then the Pro app, yeah. Okay, gotcha. And you go to the Pro app. But the basic app, yeah, has, has three or four different time-lapse settings, so you can really start having a good play with it. Okay, sorry, more questions coming yeah. in. Oreo wants to know, how long is the cable? The cable's 90 centimeters long. Comes in, with in, um, in, in English? <laughs> in English. It's about three foot long. About three feet. That, yes, that's did better. we get Thank it right? You. Yes. <laughs> Thank it's about you, three foot long. 90 centimeters, in my mind, doesn't 
quite compute. Doesn't look quite, quite. Right, okay. So yeah, three feet long. Um, comes with a little drawstring bag. So most of the time when I'm using it on an iPod Touch or an iPhone, you've got your camera on the tripod, you can hang the, the, your iPod Touch or iPhone from the tripod. And you can, of course, you can get extenders for shutter release cables. So I know Canon do like a 10 meter one. You can yeah. plug that in there and, and get going. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because it looks like the end is just a standard like three and a half millimeter. It's a three and a half millimeter headphone so jack. So you could use any headphone extender to make it longer if you wanted to. Well, the, the cool thing as well is, you know, obviously the new iPhone 5, new iPod Touches, and even actually the new iPads have the light connector makes no difference to IO shutter it works right back to the iPhone 3GS and 4 onwards perfect and then the other the, the last question I think was uh, well I, there's a question and a, requ and a request the, the question was what's the name of that app for a dollar 99 and then uh, T Shahel says James, give us a discount it's in my cart just waiting for a discount code oh <laughs> <laughs> So, Do you, so, what's the name of the app that's so $1.99? The, so, the name of the app that's $1.99 for this week only, it goes up to $2.99 next week, is IO Shutter Cam. IO Shutter Cam. So, if you hop on the App Store and you just search for IO Shutter, you'll see all of the apps and you can just dive in. You can see it's, you know, in the description, it's the, the one for your iPhone. Yeah, okay, IO cool. Shutter Cam. If you hit up our website, nlightphotopro.com, um, and I think you guys have got links to it on, on your site as well. Then, then all of the gear is there, and you can, you can see the links there really easily. Okay. Mm. And then I guess several people had asked if you were able to extend any sort of a discount. You don't have to do it at this moment, but later if you wanted to, let us know, and we can, we can let them know. I would love to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the... the um, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll keep I an eye I know that out. also requires a little technical uh, it does. wizardry yeah. on the back end. So. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, keep, eye, keep an eye out on your website and mine. I'm, I'll, I'll definitely do a little PPE deal. The okay. only challenge is, like, I shut up for Nikon, you know, I, I, I obviously as a manufacturer, like, worldwide these are on sale. I make a lot of these, and they've all pretty much gone, like, as in they're in stores and things, but... Okay. I hardly have any left myself. You don't right? have many to, so, to um, actually shift. So, yeah, 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 I just yeah, ripped so. the box open. And, so and he's just, Way you know, that was the last one. No, right? sorry. That, that was, was the last sorry, one. <laughs> um, no, 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 but, but yeah, so I know we're doing some giveaways as well, but, um, but yeah, yeah, I'll definitely do that. Okay, excellent. Well, thanks for coming on and for showing us, and it looks that we've still got lots of questions coming on the chat room about it, so lots of interest. Awesome. Um, yeah. And uh, you'll have to let us know how that goes. Yeah, looking forward to it. Thanks a lot, guys. Great to uh, be streaming and online, living it everywhere. Thank All you. Right. Look forward and to I'm the sure next we'll time. See you a little we'll later. chat yeah. with you later on. Okay. All right. All right.